Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully to the uh, by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And um, this lesson today, I'm going to entitle it, as a matter of fact, it was inspired by um, a video I was listening today earlier, before my lunch break at work here, um, listening to a video from um, GMS uh, Desmond Cam, a brother go by the name of... Um, uh, Kawara, if I'm pronouncing his name right, uh, Salaki, if, I, if, I, if I'm uh, pronouncing the name right, brother. But um, um, yeah, the brother he, he had mentioned something about um, get right or get left in the file. You know, showing you the spirit. Sometime I, you would hear a brother say something, and it would just spark in in your, in your mind through the spirit. That that's 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 the title for a lesson. He said, um, get get right or get left behind in the fire so i said man that sounds that's a lesson man so you know i just say all right i'm, I'm gonna make a lesson and, and jump right into it man so uh i got a, a little time here let me um try to jump right into these scriptures um so yeah get get right you know meaning righteous be righteous just you know get right right you don't want to be left you don't want to be uh sinister okay left it's latin for sinister okay you don't want to be that so get right right or get left in the fire, or judged before the fire. You could possibly be judged before the fire, all right? So um, that's going to be the title of this lesson, man. Get right, or get left in the fire, or judge before the fire. Okay, so let's get into the first scripture. This is the book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted, right? It starts with repentance. You got to repent. Acts 3 and 19, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Okay, so you want to repent. That's what you want to do. You want to turn to the Lord, be sorrowful for the things that you did in this life and in your past life. Okay, if you have ears to hear. All right? So that's it starts with repentance, man. Seek the Lord. This is what you have to do. Let's go here to the book of Isaiah, the 55 uh, chapter. And I'm going to read the 6th and 7th verse. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Okay? And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. So yeah, the scriptures tell you that the Lord will abundantly pardon because his, his mercy is endured forever, man. The Lord is merciful, so you have to return. Leave away from, 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 from wickedness and turn away from evil and turn back to the Lord. Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so it starts with repentance, man, and seeking the Lord. Okay? From there, I'm going to jump and I'm going to go to the, um, to the book of uh, Second uh, Peter's the third chapter because it speaks about the Lord and his coming and, and, and how the earth is going to melt with fervent and heat, man. So if you know all of these things, you should be in holy conversation, man. All right? It's either you get right, right? Either you get right or get left in the fire or judge before the fire. This is Second Peter chapter 3 and I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Yeah, unbelievers. Okay? Verse 4, it says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the, of the creation. Okay, it says, for this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water in, in, and in the water. Verse 6, whereby the world then, that then was being overflowed with water perished. Okay. So everybody remember the floods, man. All four corners of the earth people remember the floods, man. Okay, the great flood. When the Mosai flood the whole earth and saved eight souls, man. Noah and his family. Okay? It says, verse 7, 
but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men okay so you got to get right okay or get left okay or get left in the fire man all right a judge before the fire verse 8 says second peter chapter 3 and verse 8 but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is long suffering, man. Verse 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us would, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Okay, get right. It starts with repentance, man. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise those icbm missiles man and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up okay shall be burned up man that's what's gonna happen all right so it says um seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought you to be are ye to be salakia in all holy conversation and godliness. That's right. Speaking godly things. In good character. Waiting upon the Lord. Okay? That's what you have to do, man. Going into these prophecies. Doing the work and the will of the Lord. Being in holy conversation, man. Getting right. Being right. All right? Get right. So you don't get left in the fire, man. Or judged before the fire. Okay, verse 12, it says, Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's right, because we know it's not here. Micah 2 and 10 say, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. It is polluted, and it will destroy you, even with the saw destruction. So we know, we know this ain't our rest, man. Okay? And we know this place is gonna a day is come that a day is gonna come where this place is gonna burn like an oven, man. I tell you on uh, Malachi the fourth chapter, beginning at the first the first verse. Okay, let's get it Ezekiel the uh twenty second chapter. Let's go to the Lord say he's gonna leave certain people here and melt them, man. Okay. Ezekiel chapter twenty two, I'm gonna start at the seventeenth verse and it reads and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead. In the midst of the furnace they are even the dross of silver. Therefore thus said the Lord power, because ye are all become dross. Behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. You see, you don't, you don't want to be melted, man. So you got to get right. Get right or get left behind in that fire, man. Or get judged before the fire. Verse 21, it says, Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. Verse 22 says, As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you so if you don't want that man that don't sound very pleasant at all you have to get right okay be righteous man be just okay or get left in the fire man all right uh let me give you a, a, another example of that man let's go to the book of uh the book of um what's that zachariah zachariah 14 chapter to give you a, because you got to envision this stuff, man. You don't, you don't want to be a part of nothing like that, man. You remember the movie with Sarah Connor? What's, what's that? Terminator. I believe it's Terminator. Zechariah 14 and verse 12 it says, "And this shall be the peg wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet." And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And what's going to cause that? Those ICBM missiles, man. It's not a joke. It's not a game, man. All right? The, the most I say, he'll leave you there and melt you. Okay? So you're going to have to get right or get left in that fire, man, or be judged before the fire. 
Okay, now we live we live under the time of great judgment, man. Let me get a scripture on that. The most I say every day, every morning, to it, 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 it's judgment is brought forth, man. So you got to be careful here and make sure you found pleasing to the Lord. Okay, it says Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust know it no shame. So remember, hey. People are being judged every day, man, in some kind of way. Accident, fall off a building, car crash, whatever it is. Got shot, people being put into debt, put to debt in all kind of different ways, man. It's judgment because you're living in a time of great judgment. You're paying for the things that you did either in this life or your past life. So you have to, you you got to be a, a seeking the Lord in these times, man. These are some serious times. It's time, of, it's time of great judgment, man. Okay, and the scripture tell you, um, uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 17, the judgment is going to begin at the house of Israel, man. Those that know that, that they're Israelites, man. So, hey, you got to seek the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, repent and turn back to the Lord, man. That's what it is. I'm going to bring out one more scripture and I'm going to close it out, man. Hey. Get right or get left in the fire, man, or get judged before the fire, man. It is what it is. Okay, so this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach, the fifth chapter or the, and the seventh verse. And it reads, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Okay, get right and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Okay, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay, or... Get right or get left in the fire, man, or judge before the fire. It is what it is. So, hey, hopefully that was edifying. Until the next time, shalom.